recording legendary marketer course day nine high income skills what's going on everyone Christopher Wilson here and in today's video we're going to be reviewing what well, I'm going to be journaling and reviewing day nine of legendary marketer uh, my journal and my um, uh, trials and tribulations, if it may be, or my high points. Um, day nine was interesting, okay? Um, but real quick, a review of day eight talked about high income skills. Um, give a few examples. Well, I did. What's an NFL player's high income skill? Suppose he's a right receiver, his hands, okay? He has to make sure his hands and his ability to run downfield. So his hands and his speed is his high income skill. Okay. So uh, day nine, we're focusing on the number one high income skill, as we can see right here, is lead generation. Okay. Uh, Dave goes on to explain that you have to have the ability to drive traffic to your uh, your website or your squeeze page or your landing page and your bridge page okay have to have that ability you have to have the ability to drive leads into your business okay um this is the number one skill you can't get around it dave gave the example of the sandwich shop uh now imagine you got a sandwich shop you know it's open it looks pretty you know but if nobody's walking into that sandwich shop to buy you know to walking in that sandwich shop much less to buy, you know, you, you're not going to have any in, in, uh, any income coming in. You're not going to have a business, okay? Or your business is not going to make any money, okay? So that's our number one high income skill that, that is a must, lead generation, okay? Um, he also goes on to say, well, he gives a, an example, um, you know, you I got, I got, I, I see you, I see your business, okay, I walk into your business, or I see your, your, your website or your page, I have an interest, okay, now, I'm not going to buy anything, <laughs> I'm not going to buy anything yet, got my wallet in my pocket, you know, I'm on first base, you know, so let's just start with getting that email. Now, most of us in the marketing world, when we get the email, we, we automatically think sale, but that's not necessarily so. There's a time period. Some people don't open up emails immediately. Some people take time to. Um, so, you know, got my wallet in my pocket. I'm on first base. Dave says, this was just kind of funny. He said, you know, I'm on, on first base, you know, don't try to take me home. <laughs> so I thought that was a funny example, you know. I'm just, you know, on first base, okay? But the follow-up emails and so forth, you know, you know, it's, it's basically a lead. It's a lead, okay? So it leads you, you know, to the next step, hopefully. Uh, and I can my, my own example. Um, you remember back in high school, some of you all aren't, aren't that old, some of you are that, are that old. But I think was if we can just get the girl's phone number. Remember that? I got the phone number. You know, now this is back like in the 80s, you know, the 90s and so forth. Uh, but we just want the phone number. Guess what that is? The lead. You know, don't don't try and take me home. I'm not ready to go home with you. The girl may be saying, you know, I'm going to keep my phone number because I have some interest in you. Okay. Now. We're all excited about that phone number. And actually, once we get that phone number, we, we didn't actually, you know, dated a girl, went on the first date, you know, and everything. So, you know, it's the thing, you know, it's good to get excited about it, but that's just the first, that's just the first step. I got the girl's phone number. So I'm gonna call her and follow up, give her, you know, my presentation and so forth. <laughs> Or my rap, you know. So um, that's it. That's uh, you know. That's key, and that's number one. 
Okay, uh, Dave went on to interview a guy, his name is Mark um, Harbin. I may have pronounced it wrong. But he's also the guy that uh, is in the uh, traffic general, uh, traffic bundle, not traffic bundle. What do I want to say? The traffic uh, Rolodex. Yeah, traffic Rolodex. Okay. He's the guy that does some training in the traffic Rolodex. But, you know, he's interviewing Mark. Uh, Mark. And uh, he asked him, what is the lead? And the lead, uh, a lead, well, you know, you got a lead. And, and I'm, I'm thinking of another example here. Uh, police detectives, they follow up on leads, okay? So Mark says a lead is like, I have some interest in what you're saying, you know, and, you know, I have some interest in what you're saying. Um, he also says that what he tries to do when he obtains a lead is um, find out what their pain is, okay, and or what they're struggling with, okay, um, and also you know with that lead he tried to solve one issue. He used an example of um, Facebook Messenger, okay, um, said you know give me your email, not give me email, <laughs> but you know. In exchange for your email, I'm going to give you 14 messenger, Facebook messenger scripts or whatever, or, or, or leads. So, you know, that, 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 that's getting you know, focused on, you know, what, 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 what the outcome of the lead is going to be. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, on my notes. Okay. Know your target. He speaks about that. Um, know your target. Uh, a lot of times what we do, especially right now, you know, we just march into everybody. But if you can find a target and you can laser focus, you know, on one target, you know, I want to make, a, I used to be an app developer, I want to make quiz apps. Nothing with quiz apps. I'm targeting that market. Instead of trying to target, you know, quiz apps and uh, news apps and so forth. Know your, you know, remember, you, you got to know your audience, okay? So that's one thing, uh, you know, we, we need to be aware of is know our audience. Uh, right now, our audience, if you're new to me, I mean, if you're new to this like me, uh, my audience is the make money online niche, which everybody's in. But uh, I remember one wise market always told me the money making niche, niches, just think of this, health, wealth, and love. Okay. Okay. Um, Mark also has a okay. I talked about the messenger course, but the quality of leads, and this is important too. Um, and Dave says this, you know, you, you know, you got to think about your quality, quality of leads. Some leads are good, some are bad. Okay, PPC search, uh, and um, you know, uh, Facebook, you know, and uh, Twitter and so forth. Uh, quality. Now, I remember way back in the day, I had Russell Brunson's program, .com, Secrets X. He taught you, matter of fact, he had a guarantee that you will make $100 within 30 days if you follow what he says do. And I did. I squashed that gift, you know. He, got, he, made, he stood up to his guarantee. His, his leads, though, were, and I, and I wasn't going to keep this a secret, but I'm not, because I'm going to use them is what's called paid solo ads, free solo ads, and advertising on free safe list sites, whether you know, um, and you can look those up, you know, if you want, but I got a lot of leads and a lot of uh, opt-ins from that, you know. Uh, what the free safe list sites is, is where, you know, you sign up to the site and they send you uh, other marketers or other offers. And you have to click those offers to uh, earn points, points enough to send a solo ad and so forth. But paid solo ads, some people like them, some people don't. I personally like them because you do get leads. Now, whether it's a good lead or a bad lead, it depends, you know. Um, and if you all are thinking about, you know, solo ads, you know, just be careful. That's my advice right now. Just be careful because, um, you know, there's a lot of people that have bots 
they click on, you know, leave an email and, you know, technology is clever nowadays. But back then, back in 2012, 2013, you know, that was my bread and butter, free solo ads and paid solo ads too. Okay, let me move this. I, I keep finding myself looking down. So I'm gonna move myself up here. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, put your face in the video. That's a tip he offered, you know, he says wherever, you know, he wants his face in the video so he can build a relationship with his audience, which is a good tip. Okay. Same with me. A um, long time ago, I just used to do, uh, I'm kind of an introvert, but, you know, I wouldn't put my face on the video. I just have the screen, you know, by itself. But now, you know, something we have to get used to doing, you know, and I used to worry about how I'm going to look, you know. You know, am, am I shaved? You know, am I looking good? Do I have a haircut? You know, all that stuff really don't matter. Just go ahead and do it. You know, make the video. But anyway, where was I? Uh, okay. Uh, now, um, oh, wait a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me pause one second. Hold on. Oh, okay. Well, no, I can keep going. Um, and somehow I got off on, you know, lead generation, making videos, which is which is really my number one right now. Although I'm going to get into the other methods, because Dave's going to teach me. You know, I know a little bit about, you know, AdWords and Facebook ads and so forth. But mine, the, right, mine right now is videos, because you can make a video at any time. Um, but one thing I was going to say about, you know, making the videos is use a lot of thumbnails. Um, I don't know if you all have Netflix or you watch Netflix. You may see like, uh, say the show Luke Cage. You know, when you look at it one time, it may have a certain thumbnail. You know it's Luke Cage. But, you know, you come back an hour later and you search it through Netflix, you're going to see another thumbnail. But it's going to be Luke Cage, but it's going to be a different thumbnail. Okay? So, you know, that's just something I notice what companies do now. They change up, you know, the, the, the views. Or I, I guess I could say the viewing platform, the thumbnail platform, whatever. Okay. Now, uh, one thing that um, Dave and Mark went on to say is a newbie will buy solo ads, <laughs> you know, to get traffic. That's me. I raised my hand on that. I will, I, will, I will buy solo ads. I need to stop looking at this camera. I mean, looking at my picture. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, the attention thing again uh but one thing uh you know i buy solo ads because they, they got me started you know when i had my list built up i had it built up to a thousand people it was mainly because of solo ads so you know you got to think about it you know what kind of traffic do you want now you want it good or bad or you know both so i think you know you got to find that right mix of traffic okay uh one thing uh, us as uh, affiliate marketers is we think we come first. And Mark touched on this. He said, it's not about you, you know, but, you know, I want to get my first commission. You know, I want to make a sale. You know, I haven't made a sale yet. I got, I got leads, but I haven't made a sale yet. Okay. But the thing is, don't worry, don't worry about that. If you give, and there's a saying, I don't know who, who quoted this, but if you give people what they want, you're going to get what you want automatically. Okay? So, Zig Ziglar, I guess, quoted that. Okay? Uh, serve people and become the heart of service. Uh, and and I, I, I know this from uh, back in my days when I was in the Dallas and Nassau Street Church. Um, you know, Pastor Karen, she always used to say the heart of service. You know, what we would do is go out and get the... Uh, the homeless downtown, which I was at one point. I was homeless at one point. But we go downtown and go get the homeless, bring them back to church and have them to church and give them a meal to eat and, you know, take them back downtown. You know, but Pastor Karen, you know, served the people. You know, Pastor Karen's mind wasn't on, you know, what are they going to do for me? You know, she got her church started, you know, by just serving people. 
and by her just serving people, guess what? People on the, on the outside, you know, seeing this, they, they were donating to the ministry. So, you know, it didn't cost her, you know, anything. It, it cost her, you know, to go downtown and get the homeless and take them to church, but she wasn't expecting anything. But by serving people, other people got on board. And this, this internet thing, and that marketing thing kind of works like that too. They got on board. You know, you may be doing something. Don't worry about the money now, but just serve people. You know, find out what their pain is. You know, it may be a video about, uh, you know, how to remove a background, you know, which, which is a real issue for me. I want to know how I can remove the background from a picture. Okay. When I seen a video on how to do that, I immediately gave, gave that person a like on this video. You know, I even commented on the video. But, you know, that helped me. That helped my pain of finding, you know, how, how to do that, that task. Okay. So, but by, you know, past care and serving people, other things that come along, you know, you're going to get what you want. Okay. And now, you know, she has, her ministry is in Dallas and it's, it, it is, you know, thriving and, it, you know, it's serving the people. Okay. Plus, you know, people that past care has helped, they're going to come back. They're going to donate and so on. Okay. So, Let's see what else I got. Um, oh, um, yeah, just develop your skills. You know, just develop your skills. Uh, I know day 10 already, it's going to be like a, a skill that we all must learn, and I'm kind of frightened of it. But Dave says, you know, if you're frightened of it, that's when you attack it. <laughs> you know, and don't be frightened, of, you know, of doing stuff. Think of it like this. One of my mentors, Stephen Pierce, said, you know, it's not hard, it's just new. That's with anything, anything, you know. When you first start out catching a football, you may drop a few, but then you learn, you know. And, and you know, you drop a few because it's learned, you know, it's new to you, you know. So, you know, when you when you kind of things, you know, don't, don't be afraid of it, you know. Or if you are, just go ahead and attack it, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, when I was in the app business, I wanted to learn more. Okay, use more app building platforms. Okay, and so forth. So you know, once you learn your skill, you know, hone in on your skill, master that one skill. All right now, I'm trying to master making videos, everything about videos. You know, and put them on YouTube. I'm trying to find other platforms to put videos on. So, you know, it's okay. You know, to go ahead and just master, master. Okay, uh, and with that, just like in all videos, I, I have to get used to this. Uh, you know, just develop your high income skills. If you like this video, or if you're interested in signing up for a legendary marketer, you can go ahead and click the link. It'll probably be somewhere. I think I'm going to put it at the bottom here. So let me point my finger that way, or that way. <laughs> okay, and uh, go ahead and subscribe. You know, like it. Heart it, pin it, and share it. So I thank you all for taking the time to watch my video today. Wait, I forgot something, y'all. Okay, please forgive me. Uh, I forgot to do my assignment, okay, which is important. Dave always says, you know, don't just be a professional learner where you're just learning and just watching videos. You got to put the action in. So I'm putting the action in, and it's right here, assignment one, complete now. What is your biggest challenge or question around lead generation? Let us know. And what I did was I put it on, put mine on my notepad. Uh, for me, it's probably how often to make a video and how often to do things on social media, write an article, et cetera. And basically, what is the first step to get leads to my funnel? Where do I start? That's what I'm going to put there. So that's my biggest challenge and my biggest concern. Okay. Or my question. Okay. So what I'm going to do basically is just copy and paste this right there. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to call Josiah. I may call him right now uh, and talk to him and see what he says. Matter of fact, I'll make a part two on that. But actually, I'm going to do that. Okay. Uh, take care. God bless. See you later.